What are you most excited about for people to get their hands on The Witcher 3? I mean, inside the, inside the studio, it's just a process of development. So, uh, and it's evolving constantly every day. And our QA team is very, like, objective and very critical. And if they don't like something, they say, okay, this, this pretty much sucks. So I don't know, three months ago, it's like, this sucks, we don't like it, and we just keep... So our design team, our game our game design team, will build something, we'll iterate on it, and our QA team will basically attack it and make sure it's fun and get back to the design team, and that just happens, like, every day. So it's, uh, and now, honestly, uh, the QA team's like saying, yeah, this is pretty, it's getting pretty good, so that, that's a good sign. What are some of the challenges when making literally such a massive game, especially on next gen? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, I mean, it's a big world, right? It's, it's a sort of huge, uh, with, I think, 35 times bigger. I don't, I don't know what the statistics are, but it's, and we showed a demo it with, uh, here uh, on one of the islands in, in, in the Skellige Archipelago. And that island is the same size as The Witcher 2. And that's just one of, of <laughs> it is, and that's just one of, of what we have in the game, it's it's the Northern Kingdom region, but there are three sort of distinct areas. One is Skellige, this archipelago that you can go around on a boat and, and explore and find things. And then there's this area called the No Man's Land. And what this is like a, it's like a ravaged sort of war-torn space where the Nilfgaardian army has gone through and basically destroyed and raped and pillaged and and, and leveled, but there's remnants of villages and humans there, and there's roaming monsters. Uh, so that's that's another area. Mostly, that, <clears throat> mostly that area is like swampy, but also foresty, and there's some barren lands and destroyed villages and so forth. And then the third major area is sort of massive, sort of cosmopolitan city called uh, what's it called? called Novigrad. And it's kind of like a, it's kind of a free city, so it's like imagine Amsterdam, I don't know, 500 years ago, uh, or even a thousand years ago, or imagine like free city in Copenhagen. So it's a it's a free city unbound by unattached to any kind of uh, bigger state government or something. So this is where all sort of the dodgy stuff is happening, and sort of political machinations are going on. So that's uh, that's the other that's the other area. And, um, can you give us uh, maybe a time or a month that maybe the people will be able to experience The Witcher 3? Uh, probably in 2050, we're thinking it's going to be coming out. <laughs>